It's a very rare event when bankers have to admit their criminality. There have been a few limited cases over the years, but while nobody is paying attention, the government will let it slide. As long as the media doesn't pay any attention to it, anything can be swept under the rug. Nothing to see here, folks. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. They've done it again. That's right, the bankers are in control. I'll show you this today. The current administration has waived part of the punishment for five megabanks whose affiliates were convicted and fined for manipulating global interest rates. You probably remember this, the LIBOR scandal. What was interesting, at the time this came out, I barely covered it. I thought it was understood that central banks, commercial banks, sit down at a table and decide what interest rates will be, what commodities will be set at, when there will be booms and busts, and what will happen in the markets on a daily basis. I thought that was understood. Clearly, it's not. But at least we know that what we are seeing in front of us is not truth. It's not free markets. It is contrived. It is conceived by those in charge. Look at how they do this. One of the banks involved is Deutsche Bank, but that's just one. The central banks, the commercial banks, they're all connected. All the politicians, they're connected. Big business, agribusiness, pharmaceuticals, top to bottom. They are all in it together. How do I know this? It's very, very easy to be able to look into it for yourself. Don't trust me ever. Don't trust anything I say. Look at all the sources, look into what I say, research it for yourself. I am simply here to point to the information, to show it to you, and I want to receive no credit for anything, okay? I'm just showing you some stuff, you take it. There's a website I've shown you here before, it's called Muckety, and I'll show you that at the end. Muckety will be able to provide you with the links between corporations, people, and everything in between. And you will see how all the banks are interconnected. They're interconnected with politicians. They're interconnected with everything. And it doesn't matter who's in control because behind the scenes, there's something else going on. Don't believe what you're told. Look into it for yourself, okay? So essentially, there's these waivers. They were issued in a little notice announcement published in the Federal Register during the Christmas holiday week. So I'll look at that in a moment here. We'll talk more about the banks. Deutsche Bank was under investigation by the Justice Department for both its role in a mirror trading scheme with Russian oligarchs that allowed them to launder cash out of Russia in the face of U.S. sanctions and for its mortgage practices amid the financial crisis, which regulators sought a $14 billion fine for. Deutsche Bank ended up settling with the government on the mortgage front for $7.2 billion just days before the new president came in. Now, this is such a small piece of what's happening. And I've talked about this before, and I don't care how ridiculed I will be. All central banks, commercial banks, politicians, big business, they're all one entity there is no displacement of any of these factors ever if one person comes out of that another person fills the spot that's the way it works there's a revolving door every single big business is controlled by the same people if you look at the board of directors for all of these companies okay you can just start there look at any company big big company apple amazon exxon mobile look at who's on the board of directors okay you take that person's name you go to a search engine you type it in you'll find out that they're the ceo of another company in a different institution and then you look at the board of directors in that institution and you look and find oh wait a minute the people who are 
controlling that company are also controlling this company and the ones who are supposed to be regulating that company are on the board of directors of this company and nobody ever takes the time to sit down and piece it all together now i've done a fairly good job at showing you it here but ultimately i can't do that for you you need to be able to look into it deeper Okay, these videos are not documentaries, okay? I'm just here to just give you some info and then you have to do the good detail. You know, I, I hope that I am uh, a good resource to you, but I want you to, you know, of course, do more investigation on your own. This is the Federal Register. The Daily Journal United, United States Government. And you will see this here. Okay, exemptions from certain prohibited transaction restrictions. It goes through, yes, of course, they were all guilty of this and that, and you can see everything that they're uh, guilty of, and they are exempted from all of that. It's in the Federal Register, just hidden there on the 29th of December. This is the PDF version, same sort of document here, but they basically go through and say, yes, of course, they are guilty, but uh, no, no reason to worry about that. I, I didn't go through and highlight any of this, but essentially, if you're interested, it's here and just want to note the fact that this happened on the 29th of December. Right from the Department of Justice, you'll see Deutsche Bank here. If I can highlight some of this. Um, they were charged, pled guilty before a magistrate judge to wire fraud for its role in manipulating the London Interbank offered rate. That's LIBOR, a leading benchmark interest rate used for the financial products and transactions around the world. On the same day, Deutsche Bank entered into a deferred prosecution agreement to resolve wire fraud and antitrust charges in connection with both its role in manipulating the U.S. dollar LIBOR and engaging in a uh, price-fixing conspiracy to rig yen LIBOR. All right. They're guilty. Totally guilty. They admit their guilt. All of these banks are in collusion. What does the government do? They basically say, we'll give you a pass. Is it just this current government in the US? Absolutely not. It happened previously. And guess what? It's going to happen again. The banks do not ever, ever, ever take a step down, take a step back. They will continue to control the markets in every single way, shape, and form. There is no way that that will ever change. If there are any policies or procedures put into place to change that, somebody will end up sleeping with the fishes. This here is muckety. So that's spelt M-U-C-K-E-T-Y. If you go to a search engine, you can find that for yourself. I've shown you it here before on the channel. Basically, what you do is you go to the search portion, type in a person's name or a company, and a huge list will come up. So you can click on the things that you're interested in. In this example here, I typed in everything that came up for JP Morgan. Just one example, right? I clicked JP Morgan and, and clicked them all. There are several subsidiaries, companies, and everything, and, and people, but I just clicked on the companies. And then you can see the different institutions, different people that are all interconnected with that. So wherever there is a uh, purple outline here, that's one of the things that I clicked on to make it come up. But you can see, look, even Tony Blair, for example, General Motors, the CFR, um, other things here. We'll look at uh, Chase, of course, obviously, Bear Stearns, um, you know, Trump, I mean, who, who do you want to look at? Everybody is involved, everybody. Daimler Chrysler, big companies from around the world are all involved together, colluding. This is what happens. You can't have one company exist, billion dollar company, and not have it be connected in some way to the rest of the institutions that are out there. You have to play ball. It's an absolute fact. What is this? AIG. We've got Bernie Madoff. I mean, it shows you all the connections. Some of them might be loose connections. And it doesn't mean that, you know, they're buddy-buddy every time. It just means that there's some links there. Ultimately, I believe that, once again, 
this is all contrived what we see when when you look at the price out there whether it's gold or silver or anything else it's not real it, it, it really isn't real I'll, I'll leave it at that i hope that you agree with me on that if not let me know why have an opinion if you want to give me a thumbs down, please do, but have an opinion. Share your opinion here. If you don't think that this is all contrived and we are in a process of uh, free markets, then I'd like to hear that. I would wish it was free markets, but of course that's not the case. And But I want to know what you think about that. Okay, that's all for this video. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to respect my freedom of speech here, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, then share your opinion. I want to hear about that. Last but not least, if you found this video informative, I know that you will find my books, The Money GPS, and my newer release, Global Economic Collapse, even more informative. You can flip through these books. Go over to Amazon. The links are in the description below. Take care. I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you who have been supporting me. I'm always saying this, but I'm thinking about it every day. There's so many people out there that have donated to me, whether it's PayPal, Patreon, cryptocurrencies, and every way. I really do appreciate that, and I'm very, very thankful. Literally every day that passes by, I'm always thinking of this because it's with your support that I can really push and give as much as I possibly can here. And... I'm just glad that I have so much support. Thank you all.